You wanna know why I did what I did? Two reasons. Number one, I'm sick of getting held down. I'm sick of not getting the chances I deserve. So I will do what I have to, to who I have to, to be at the top. The second reason I did what I did, in every man's hour of darkness, he needs to be around people that understand him. He needs to be around family. How is it that every time you're around, I seem to come up short? I seem to be the one. I seem to be the one losing. But when you're not around, victory belongs to me. You see, much like JR was in his hour of darkness, I myself was in an hour of darkness. And now I realize that the only people I can trust are my family. And what you see here is my family. And if anybody does anything to them, they will answer to me. And they will answer to the family. Halloween hell's coming. And who better to bring hell to ECC Depot? <laughs> You're gonna burn ECCW! <laughs> 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 Sullivan, you think locking me inside of a steel cage is gonna get you what you want? You think you're gonna beat me at Halloween Hell? Halloween Hell, I don't lose. Steel cage matches, I don't lose. I'm gonna climb up to that top of that cage. I'm gonna give the finger to everybody in the Bridgeview Hall. And I'm gonna come down with a leg drop across your throat. I'm gonna pin you one, two, three. I'm gonna be done with you. I'm gonna get back on track, get the belt where it belongs with the administration. Sullivan, you're causing some major problems, and you, Dog Manson, you don't want more of me. Before the month of October is over, mark my words, every problem, every nuisance to the administration will be dealt with. Bill Coltrane, you and I will be talking very soon. Moondog Manson, let me make something very clear to you. Hardcore is dead. And Jason Sullivan, at Halloween Hell, so are you. Sid Silo! You think, you think you're pretty smart this weekend. I think you know how to defeat natural selection. Well, my friend, I don't know if it was possible for you to piss off Bishop more than you did. But you have attained something that no other man can say. I've never seen Bishop this irate, this livid. It all comes to a pass, Asylum Halloween Hell. I got beat again. Got beat again. When was the last time I won a match? Beat JR in Abbotsford. Really? I beat Junior in Abbotsford. You did? Yeah, if a tree falls in the forest, does anyone hear it? Yeah. If someone beats Junior in Abbotsford, does anybody care? All right. When's the last time I won a real match? Sid Silom has gotten involved in every single one of my matches. This was supposed to be our game. I know. This was our thing. We still have the win. We still have the ball to win this. And who the hell is this Jamie Diaz kid coming out challenging me for another match? I don't know. Oh. 
October 22nd, Diaz. That's a tune-up, because I've got Asylum in a dog collar chain at Halloween Hell. I don't even care about you. Who do you think you are? You got a fluke victory over me in August, and you can have Asylum help you tonight? Come on. You got this. Now you're on my radar, kid. I know who you are. I know what you can do. October 22nd. It's all over. I'm not looking past you. I'm using you as a two-knife. Everything I do to you, I'm gonna do ten times more since I'm...